welcome to Fexens Health College. Today we'll be looking at an orientation section and it has become necessary because of the current situation the country is going through. Welcome again once to Fexens Health College, a place full of opportunities to release your potentials and to achieve excellence in the field of work. Today's overview, we are going to first explore what Vexen Health College has to offer you. We also have an overview of how your training is going to be for the six months that you'll be with the school. Then also, we'll be talking about your roles and responsibilities as your students and other rights and privileges that you also be enjoying as you study with Vexen Health College. It is a real privilege and responsibility to be entrusted with education, training, and care of our learners. It is also wonderful to know that we are helping to build a strong and vibrant communities for the citizens of Ghana and beyond. Academic opportunities are enhanced at Fexens with many opportunities for students' involvement in co-curricular activities, including student government, cultural and social organization. We have high expectations for every learner to succeed. We promote quality teaching and leadership, and we know they are crucial to improving students' learning outcomes. Now, a brief history about Vexen South College. This school was founded in 2008 and has been at the forefront of preparing students personally and professionally to achieve their vocational calling. Students of all backgrounds and religious perspectives study a curriculum that focuses on foundation and professional programs and the development of both personal and societal ethos. Our main vision of this school is inspiring individuals, businesses and communities to create their future today and believe that as you are with us, by the time that you leave the school, we would have equipped you to create your future. Our mission is to provide contemporary vocational education and training to enhance the career opportunities and personal growth of individuals and enhance the productivity of workplace. The syllabus we are currently using is upgraded and is updated. So it's going to be very relevant if you want to work in a pharmacy or either in the hospital or in a community pharmacy, or you want to open your own over-the-counter medicine seller shop or your herbal shop, the vocational training that we are talking about is about that. So be rest assured you have quality lecturing when you are with Texans. Now let's just know some of the people that you'll be meeting in your course study with the school. The principal, Farm Mark Bequind, that is number. You can WhatsApp him. He is the head of the school. He's also the trainings coordinator. He links between the school and other organizations. His office is always open. And the principal is always available. You'll be seeing him at matriculation and graduation programs. Farm Nana AJ is also with Achimata branch. He's also a pharmacist very good has been in the school for a number of years very experienced handles a lot of community pharmacy and be rest assured if you are in the Chimota branch you'll be seeing pharmacist nana ej nyamiche dr dominic elom is also one of our vibrant lecturers at the lomnava campus we meet him very often he's very good also handles one of our retail pharmacies and very much experience we have three administrative executives. The one on the extreme left is Mrs. Regina Mensa. The one in the middle is Mrs. Franska Jesse. And the one on the extreme right is Mrs. Faustina Amenu. Their numbers are blue. These normally provide all the administrative assistance. If you want, if you have issues with your books, your fee payments, your certificate testimonials, whether your lectures become on or not, these ladies are very instrumental. They, they are always in the office on weekends, on Saturdays, they are there. From Mondays to Friday, you'll be meeting them. And we hope you enjoy your stay with them. They are lovely people, and I hope you enjoy studying with us and meeting them too. 
Pastor Everest is a chaplain at our school. If you have issues with any personal or business related, you need any counseling services, you need any prayers, if issues become tough for you, God forbid you lose a close relative, you are bereaved, you are mourning, you are confused about life, the school provides that services. Okay, you can get his number from the administrative assistance. He's a pastor and he, he's going to provide very good counseling services for you. We are accredited by four main organizations, the National Vocational Training Institute, NVTI. We are also accredited by the Ghana Education Service. We also have a accreditation from City and Girls UK. And last but not the least, from the Pharmacy Council of Ghana. We have four main courses we run. The Medicines Counter Assistance from the Pharmacy Council. The Home Nursing, that's Healthcare from NVTI. Customer Service and Selling from City and Girls. Some of our achievements over the years since 2008, the school is roughly about 11 years old now. We've trained over 3,150 medicine counter assistants. We have excellent pastries, very, very good. They all do very well when they write their final exams. Most of our graduates are employed and they are in the various pharmacies. And I believe once you start to work or do your attachment, you'll be meeting some. We also help our students with job placement opportunities. Now, what we do is simple. A lot of companies call us for students, and the school normally will give contacts of our students to these companies. And some students have gotten jobs through the school job placement agency. We also have supported some graduates in starting their own businesses, especially the pharmacy and the over-the-counter medicine seller shop. We all going to take you through how if you want to start your own business after school what there are the procedures the lectures will be taking you through if you need any assistance come to the school and we'll provide all the assistance you need for those of you that may also want to further your education to the university the school will provide you with the assistance to further your education to either do hnd in pharmacy technology or if you want to pursue a degree program in pharmacy the school will give you the route. We also provide an online e-learning support for all our students. It is free of charge. You don't pay anything. You can visit our website at www.fexenscollege.online. Then you click on the online icon. It will bring you there. All your books that you'll be using in this school is placed on our website. And you'll be having some videos linked to the YouTube channel. This is a section of students at the Lomnava campus, well-disciplined, the classrooms are spacious and airy, and we hope you enjoy staying with us. Normally on Friday, students wear the school lacoste. You can see they are all in the school lacoste. This is going to be provided to you by the school. You don't have to buy it as part of your tuition fees. Okay, so once you come to the school, the school provides you the school lacoste. Normally, to be worn on a Friday for those of you that will be coming for the weekday school. This Alumnava campus is a very big story building. You can see um, we have a lot of lecture halls. We have our graduation halls and the rest. And it's a big campus. But Chimota is a small campus, but Alumnava is our main campus you'll be seeing. A section of some students from the Alumnava campus. Very lovely ladies and lovely gentlemen that we have. The school will organize a matriculation program now. Once you start coming to campus for your lectures, we organize it and the dates will be communicated to you by the administrative executives. So it's compulsory for all students to attend such matriculation programs and an oath is sworn and you are inducted into the school community. If you're able to successfully complete our program, we organized a graduation ceremony for all graduates at our school premises at the Lomonova campus. And these graduation programs are excellent. This is one of our recent graduation programs where we graduated over 150 students. This one is one badge from Achimota, with you can see myself, Mr. Mark Bequin in the middle with the chaplain and other staff of the school all surrounding our graduates in their lovely, beautiful white overalls. A section of our students taking their graduation oath at our assembly hall 
can still see them seated. We have a spacious assembly hall that can sit up to 300 students. So normally when we are organizing events, dinners, graduation is done at our own graduation hall. We don't rent at our Lomonava campus. The school has got in a library. These are sections of our home nursing students or the healthcare students at the library. We encourage all students to use the library. You read a lot to update yourself on current trends. This is a demonstration room where these home nursing students come for demonstration. Also, uh, medicine counter assistants may be using this room when they start to learn about wound dressing and first aid. Students also have their own Students Week celebration. This one was organized in 2016 and it was fun. Students room, the principal streets of Accra, singing, dancing, and it was lovely. For those of you at our Chimota campus, this is our Chimota campus, it's a rented facility. And as I've said, it was done to ease the evening pressure so that students don't have to come to our main campus at Lomnava. This is a session of our students on the flutes when we're organizing the SRC week for them. A section of the front desk of the Chimota campus. We have a lab for pharmacy students at the main Lomnava campus where they are taught basic dispensing and how medicines are mixed. The school has also gotten a portable ICT center where you can learn and upgrade and it's compulsory. Students are being encouraged to take this opportunity at no, uh, virtually no cost. So we have an ICT center at the Lomnava campus where you can upgrade on your ICT skills. Now this is a section of students during the school's dinner. Normally we have a dinner for students and depends on your class. This one that we had when the school was organizing makes perfect sense last year. And it was lovely. You could see our beautiful ladies. It was a night that you wish you were there. It was lovely, fun, music, dance, and full of happiness. So Fexens doesn't only concentrate in building you academically, we also encourage you to build your social life. A majority of us will enjoy and have nostalgic memories when we leave the school. Now this is the face of Fexens, Miss Fexens, as the dinner went on and the program was very lovely. We had people coming over to come and sing and can see the students, their beautiful dresses exhibiting themselves. The school has gotten a hostel facility for those that won't come and stay at the hostel facility. It's an ultra modern hostel facility. We provide you with water and the basic amenities. And we wish that you take a tour at our school hostel facility. It's owned by the school and operated by the school. Very convenient. Okay. So if you want a one in a room, we have we have three in a room, we have four in a room, we have six in a room. It's very close to our campus alumni by a few distance, just about 400 meters away from our main campus. The school also encourages something we call an equal opportunities policy. Now, in order to fulfill our mission statement, our objective is to equip all our staff and learners with the awareness of our diverse society by ensuring that all learners are developed for life regardless of your sex, your color, your origin, or your culture or your ability. The key principles on which this policy is built is one, every effort will be made to ensure that there is no discrimination on the basis of color, origin, protected characteristics, sex or your ability, either within our school or in its dealings outside. The school does not discriminate. All our learners are equal. Also, equal opportunity practice is evident in all our school activities in providing curriculum, extracurricular activity, in interpersonal relationship and the ethos of the school, we give every student the same opportunity. We don't favor any student over the other. Adults in the school are expected to be role models of exemplary behavior. We respect each other. We care for each other. We don't cane. We don't punish. We hope we are all adults and we behave likewise. Students and teachers will also contribute to a happy and caring environment and show respect for and appreciation of each other as individuals. All students have the right to a broad and balanced curriculum, which requires differentiation according to their individual needs. They have a right to equal access to education opportunities, resources, according to their needs and abilities.
So if a student come to our school and you are not understanding anything in the lecture hall, it's your right to ask. We normally see our students are clients. You are a business. You shouldn't feel shy if there's a lecture you don't understand. You have to ask because you've paid for it and it should be delivered likewise. When it comes to the MCA training, the main purpose of this training is to train new learners anybody that decides to, to pick up this program to acquire the relevant practical skills and knowledge required for working at the front end of pharmacies and chemical shop interacting with people giving advice on over-the-counter medicines healthcare products beauty and makeup products learners will also acquire skills in customer service documentation inventory control retail selling and other skills required by the pharmacy council at the end of your training now, at the end of the training, we expected the MC should be able to perform these basic tasks under the supervision of a registered pharmacist. The MC should be able to keep the pharmacy tidy, providing customer service. You'll be able to know how to sell over-the-counter medicines okay, under the supervision of the pharmacist. You help the pharmacist in inventory management. You provide clerical tax or secretarial duties. You should be able to also educate patients on their health. You help in assisting in purchasing and also in dispensing of medicines. When we have to prepare medications, okay, and labeling medicines for patients, the MCs also help assist. If you come to sorting out medicines, the MCs also assist under the supervision of the pharmacy. Most MCs in pharmacies also help in assisting the receipt of money. And any other duty that may improve the efficiency in the pharmaceutical care. So at the end of your training, we are going to train you to be able to perform all these duties. Okay, everything that I've been listed here at the end of your six months training, you should be competent to provide these things that we have listed. And it's going to ensure that you are going to be employed. Now, this exception of some of our students at pharmacies, this is one of our pharmacies at Israel very close to the Lomonova campus, this lady is called Justine. She has been with us for close to seven years now, a very good MCA. Then you can see the way she works in serving customers. This is a pharmacy at Israel. It's available for you to walk in and study. So the school provide you with our own pharmacy's facilities. So if you are closer, you can come and observe so that bills on is both a wholesale and a retail pharmacy. We have another pharmacy at Kwabinya Abum Junction. If you stay closer, to, you can visit some of these uh, pharmacies to have a foresight and know what really goes on. Then we have our latest pharmacy at Achimota at the Gulf Lane Station, very close to the Achimota campus. Ultra modern pharmacies, well equipped, well stocked, and well designed. Okay, you can visit there and also have a look at how the pharmacies are arranged and how we are supposed to be working there. Thank you very much. This end of part one of orientation video, we'll be bringing along your part two. In other not for us to wait a lot of waste a lot of data. I wish we all stay safe in this period. Let's wash our hands. Let's stay isolated because of the COVID nineteen pandemic. And I hope very soon it will be over and we'll meet at the lecture. God bless you. God bless Ghana. Stay safe. Bye bye.